Richard Southern joins us with the day's top business stories. The Ontario government released its plan today to slowly reopen the province, and it's not sitting well with the country's top movie theater chain. Richard. No, it's not. I mean, you know, June 14th, Erica, it looks like we'll be able to sit on a patio again and go shopping again, but we won't be able to go to the movie theater still. Uh, movie theaters won't be able to reopen until step three of this plan. That's probably not going to be until August. And as you can imagine, Cineplex is not happy one bit. We got a statement in from the CEO of Cineplex, Alice Jacob. It is a very pointed statement. It reads, quote, it is absurd. We are losing all the summer. Canadian cinemas have welcomed more than 6 million guests during the pandemic, and there has been zero uh, resulting cases of COVID-19 in Ontario or the world. Based on what we're hearing today, cinemas will be locked down in Ontario longer than any jurisdiction in the world all due to a government that ignores the facts. Again, that is the CEO of Cineplex talking. This is going to mean, Erica, that the company will have, have lost the in, almost the entire summer. And that's when, of course, movie theaters make the bulk of their money. You know, the summer blockbusters come out. This is a company already hurting financially, and this is a serious blow to Canada's largest theatre chain. Yeah, no question it certainly about it. is, for sure. Uh, the loony is flying high despite a number of businesses being closed due to the pandemic. Yeah, I, usually it'd be good. We could say, hey, uh, your, your trip down to uh, the States, Erica, this summer will be cheaper. But, well, you just said the border is going to remain closed for a bit longer. But the loony is indeed up. It's at a six-year high versus the U.S. dollar, around 83 cents U.S. The reason for it has been commodity prices, things like oil coming back to life and copper surging. And this is the highest we've seen since 2015. The experts say it may have more room to run. Of course, a high dollar isn't a very great thing for the economy. Canada's goods cost more to those buying it outside of the country. So it could be problematic if it continues to rise. It could also create a question for investors, Erica. Maybe they'll put their money to work on Wall Street now with the mm. favorable exchange rate, and that could hurt the TSX. All right, and finally, Ford, uh, not our premier, but the automaker, is getting set to roll out <laughs> an electric version of its most popular pickup truck. Yeah, the F-150. I mean, we got a, a lot of automakers are coming out with electric vehicles, but this is notable because the F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle in Canada for 11 years in a row. Ford debuting the all-electric version, and the standard model can go 370 clicks on a single charge. The extended range model can go 480 kilometers. That's enough to drive from Toronto to Ottawa on one charge. Another really interesting tidbit here is that Ford says the truck can act as a backup generator and can power the typical Canadian home for up to three days. So that's an interesting little add-on there as Ford looks to get in to that hot electric car space.